Welcome to another episode of Thrifting. I'm just um, swanning around her and say, <laughs> it's two quid on a bus anywhere right now. So, yeah, I decided to go to Ernsey because there's five charity shops. I saw um, Burn Out Free um, take down £2.50 CX like for six quid. But um, going about the other charity shops, um, there weren't out there, but there's potential. I'm going to have to keep an eye on these charity shops. I might pop back there before this two quid scheme runs out on the bus. Because, yeah, they, nothing much that day, but you can you can get a feel for them. You think, yeah, these probably get some stuff in. Because there was some games in them, but they were all trash. Um, just in um, cash cash converters down um, Oldness Road. Um, Wipeout Omega Collection. Um, I've already got it digitally. It came with my VR ages ago. But um, that fucking sleeve, bro. <laughs> the PS1 sleeve. Um, I, checked on, I checked online and the sleeve... Um, increases its value by another ten pound because people are asking twenty quid for it with that sleeve. Um, it was there was a, a bit of a nick in one of the corners, but apart from that, it was pretty pretty tidy. So I decided, yeah, I'm getting that just just for the PS one ness of it all. Um, Hogs of War on um, PC. Um, they wanted two quid for it in um, Dog Rescue, um, which is fine because it's six quid um, six quid to buy a CX on PC. Um, never played the PC version. I probably bought it before because I mean, I, obviously it goes for m way more money on um, PS One. But um, yeah, I'll get the um, PC version. Uh, over in the um, Age UK, that's just down the road from me. I uh, seen um, Sonic and the Black Knight and Furza Five. I and uh, SBK motor racing. A motorbike game. Um, first, I had um, first I had four quid on it, and um, Black Knight had four quid on it as well. I was I was unsure. The 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 the, the prices seemed a bit high. Um, obviously, the racing game was alright because it was only one pound twenty five. SBK twenty eleven. Um, so I I had them in my hand. And I I turned my glasses off to check my phone, and she brought some more out, which was um, X Men. Wolverine Origins for two quid, Smash Brothers Wii U for a four quid. <laughs> I was like, nah, this is kind of a no-brainer because I checked them on CX and they they all go for way more than that. Um, Furs is eight quid, Wii Mario Bro Bros Smash Bros is um, eight quid, Sonic is six quid, and that um, motor racing game is four quid. So yeah, they were all like fifteen pound for that lot. It's fine. <laughs> X Men Origins is six quid as well, I think. Um, it's actually really spicy on other formats. Um, X Men Origins on um, on PS3 and Xbox is like eighteen quid. But yeah, I mean a Wii U game and one of that, you know, like a main event. <laughs> I was happy with all them fifteen. So we're in um, CEX and I'm coming in for the Cowabunga collection. I've traded in Hogwarts. I'm bored of it now. <laughs> so. Um, I had 33 plus, I had a couple of credit notes and um, a few other games that I traded in. So yeah, Cow Bunker Collection, I didn't realise that it's got um, it's got the NES and the Game Boy ones on it as well. I was just like, no way bro. I thought it was just like the, the SNES ones. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. Because, I mean, well, now what else? Out, is there really? And um, I'm bulking out my um, Resident Evil collection, so I decided to get Resident Evil Origins again. I've got it digitally. Um, I think this was one of the ones that I sacrificed to get my PS5 when the credit was good. I can't be sure though, but I think it was. Usually, if it's a game that I should be keeping and I've traded it, and it was because of the um, the cull that happened to get my PS5. But um, yeah, so I'm happy to get that back. Um, I won't mind it. I won't mind. I won't mind them individually, but um, obviously, um, the Origins collection is probably the best best way to go to play mhd and yeah uh, i took him to the counter and the guy was like um do you want it in the pizza box for the same price and i was like yeah i want it in the pizza box for the same price um i'm not sure if how else is supposed to be get out a postcard in the box and just the box itself but um maybe this it's supposed to come with more gubbins i don't know but um i mean do you want the game without the pizza box or do you want it in the pizza box i thought i'm all day i'm all about the pizza box so yeah i was happy with that it's like it's always good when you go and see x and get a little something extra i think maybe maybe they'd have brought it in under a different code if all the stuff was there so i'm i'm outside dog rescue and i'm i'm eyeballing that um 
retro looking controller i was like well that needs um a bit of investigation it was five pound which seemed pretty reasonable for a controller of that ilk but um when i went in it was a switch controller um one of those a power ones i've had i've had controllers that brand before they're not bad but this one had the retro sensibilities that i'm always looking for and obviously i've got the um subscription plus thing on um on switch so i've got all the retro games on there and some of the Mega Drive games are crying out for a D-pad like that. I mean, I've got an 8-bit, uh, 8-bit, uh, whatever, um, that's got like the NES style D-pad. But on the Mega Drive games, you kind of miss that um, 8-way one. So, yeah, um, it's kind of similar to the one that I was using on Brixty to beat Splatterhouse. Um, we're back in CX, and I'm looking at this really tidy copy of um, Resident Evil 1 Remake on GameCube. As I said, I wanted them individually. Um, the, set, the website said Zero was in here as well, but it won. I couldn't find it. Um, but I was there, I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to get this as well. Um, just, just to bulk out my Resident Evil collection. Um, there's, there's not that many I'm missing now. I, I, still, I still really regret um, selling the N64 version of 2. But I have got like two on um, Dreamcast and PS1 as well, so it's like it's not like I'm I'm desperate for it. So yeah, that was everything I got this time. Fifteen live. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. You can see what I'm up to on um, Twitter.com forward slash Riftbytes, and um, you can sometimes catch me live at Twitch.tv forward slash Riftbytes where I'm planning to um, speed run Resident Evil One at some point where I catch a break. <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to go. And you can check the old blog at thriftbytes.com and you can see all these are re-uploaded on Odyssey at odyssey.com forward slash at thriftbytes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.